Back to Dukes. Again, Niagara with single digits on the shot clock. Behind the back pass. Now a three for Prochet. Good! Pass Prochet. Shot blocked once and then yet again. Two Purple Eagles came over to block it. Here's Matt in the front court. Tries to split the double team. Pass in the baseline. Greg King goes up. Layup. Yes, and the foul. Greg King getting into the action early. Front court come the Purple Eagles. Khalil Dukes off a screen. He'll pull up. Three on the way for Khalil. Swiss. His first attempt to the... Greg's got it again. One dribble. Spins. Layup. Miss. Got it back. Off glass. Yes, and the foul. Every time for Niagara when they're in the front court. Quacomensa with it. Bounce pass, Matt Scott. Here he goes, slicing through the lane. Layup on the way is good. Matt Scott able to finish with the right hand. Pointer on the way. That one no good. Rebound battled for. Matt Scott picks it up and lays it in. On the way, no good. Rebound battled for. Greg King corrals it for the Purple Eagles. Outlet to Duke. Skip it across the floor. Khalif Tate, three on the way. Swish! How about the young man from Washington, D.C.? Matt into the front court. Purple Eagles looking to run. Throw it on the block. King spinning away from Perkins. Slams it through. Greg King with six first half points. Down by 14. Skip it across the floor. Kate with the catch. Now to Scott. Matt all the way to the basket. Finger roll. Good. He beat the buzzer. Count the basket. That is just the half of it. Right wing three on the way. That one no good. Rebound. Massenburg has it picked from behind by Matt Scott. A two on the way. Good from the baseline. Khalil Dukes, crossover, now we'll go to the right baseline. Floater on the way, good off the last. Boy, Khalil didn't even have his head up. Those three have accounted for all 14 second half points for the Bulls. 60 to 43, back comes Dukes, right elbow jumper, good again. Khalil Dukes really getting in the groove now. It's a deep three, good! From right in front of the Niagara bench. You should get four for that. To the front court comes Niagara, Matt Scott with it. To Dukes, curling off a screen. Khalil open for a three at the top is good. All right, one down, nine to go. Khalil Dukes, his third three-pointer of the ball game. Having a big second half, 94-70. UB with the lead. Here's Dukes. He'll pull up. Left elbow jumper. Good. Like Khalil Dukes. Um, Chris Marvers, you know, we talked about defense on Monday. You know, they came in and scored 106 on you guys tonight. Um, just what happened on that end? Um... Well, I, you know, I, I think they were very physical. Um, you know, we got outscored in the paint 52 to 22. I thought that was probably a big part of it. Um, and they got points off our turnovers. We, they turned us over, which is something we hadn't been doing. Uh, they were 31 to 6 off turnovers. So I think that was the, the big difference in the game. You know, when you, uh, when you score in the paint, you know, make physical plays, you, you're getting high percentage shots. And when you're scoring off turnovers, you're getting high percentage shots. They're live ball turnovers that are in transition. So I think those were the two biggest uh, two biggest things in the game. When you, Chris, when you, you talk about them playing physical, they were really physical defensively early in the game. When it, when the game was tight, it was there. I mean, the score is, doesn't reflect I, what I watched in the first half, and that was their defense. Um, they did a good job on, on Matt and Khalil. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I thought they did. I thought they yeah. tried to keep the ball out of their hands as much as possible. Marv, you kind of talked about it on Monday. You, know, you're the emo you come across as the emotional area defensively. Oh, uh, I, I just think that uh, we caught it. In, we didn't get in control of the game early, and they did on a defensive level. So they them taking away Matt and Dukes, like they their defense was amped up, and like Coach said, it was more uh, physical than us. So. We was trying to we was trying to fight back after they, like they they came on a run. We was trying to fight back, but it was just we need more intensity on defense. And when I say we're physical, I don't mean we weren't attempting to be physical. They just they made some physical plays. You know, our, our guys fought the entire game. I don't think we we didn't stop fighting. You know, it wasn't a question of fight. It, they just made physical plays. Um, you how do what do you attribute that to? I mean, the, the way they came out, the way you, know, you mentioned the kind of. They were more intense than you. Know, do you, you know, is that, you know, four games and six nights? Is that just an off uh, night or? Uh, I think, I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it was. I wouldn't say it was an off night. They just, they came in. They was hitting shots. We didn't, and that's basketball. We we didn't hit shots. We were supposed to hit shots. They hit more shots than us, and they got it going. I think they had like four guys in double figures, and we only had what three. We shot poorly from the field, I think, and they did, and they shot better than us. That's all that was.
Chris, you did get you seem to get good minutes from Greg again, second second straight game. Um, he played and he got an extended run. Um, is he just coming around for you guys? You know. Yeah, I, I mean, he, he gave us good minutes. He had a double-double. And he, what he played, 23, 24 minutes, 26 minutes. He had a double-double in 26 minutes. So um, he did some good things for us. Yeah. Uh, and then Chris coming off the bench, got, got back in, covers his foot. Is he still, are you just giving him some minutes to, to see where he's at, or is he full go? Um, well, he's full go. I mean, he's still, you know, Chris is a, is a tough kid. You know, he's not a, he doesn't, he wanted to play in the last game. Um, it's more a question of, you know, uh, what's the best process for him to, to uh, heal and not re-injure him, you know. So tonight, I mean, I think he played um, somewhere around 10, 15 minutes, 13 minutes, you know, and he did fine. So hopefully we can extend his minutes, you know, in the next one. Hey, Chris, uh, regardless of this result and in the, in the score or whatever, you okay with where your team is, how you're playing right now? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm disappointed in the result, and there wasn't a guy in the locker room that wasn't disappointed with it. Um, and as a coach, you're never truly totally happy about how your team is playing, right. you know. Um, I think if you do that, you, you know, you're not trying to get better. Um, and our guys certainly don't do that. Um, you know, well, we played some really, really good teams this month, and yeah. we played seven games in 14 days and uh, four in the last six. So, um, you know, we move on. To December, we got five more non-league games, and we move on. You know, am I happy with where we're at? I mean, if we were, if we were eight and zero, I wouldn't tell you we were happy with where we're at. You know, I mean, I, I think I think we can always get better. You know, um, I thought there was a couple we could have stolen. You know, um, but uh, you know, tonight they, they tipped their hat to them. They played really, really well, and we did not. But we will move forward, and we will go up to New Hampshire, and we'll be good up in New Hampshire.